hi everyone uh, welcome to interview.com i'll be talking about how to prepare for java interview questions i have uh, selected top 20 java interview questions that you should know the answers for all these questions before attending a java interview okay so i'll be talking about what are the questions uh, that I'm, I'm i'm going to discuss in future videos these are the questions um, listed below there are these are the top top 20 questions you should know before attending any java interview uh, the first question is what is the difference between c++ and java um, uh, in c++ for example c++ use pointers java does not use pointers and uh, a java is platform independent c++ is not you need a you need to you need a different compiler to compile the c++ code and um, memory management is automatic in java and c++ the the developer should take care of should take care of uh, the mani memory management so like this we will be discussing in future videos just here in this video i am going to talk about all these questions i am going to just introduce these 20 questions to you so that it will be useful for you to prepare so in interview.com the goal is to help the job hunters who is who is uh, preparing for the interview in java language we want to help um, job hunters so the next question is why plat why java platform is pla why java is platform independent write the code once and you can run anywhere how it is um, there is a concept uh, there is a concept called jvm java virtual machine which does that uh, which which helps in platform independent you write the code once and you can run in linux as well as in windows i'll be discussing about that in later videos is java object oriented programming language and how yes java java is an object oriented pro programming language because it supports polymorphism encapsulation and inheritance uh, the three main pillars of object oriented programming language so i'll be talking about that um, but it's not a pure pure uh, pure object oriented programming language because it uses primitive um, variables primitive data types with the next question fourth question is what is jvm jvm is java virtual machine which plays a major role in um, platform independent feature of in java mm -hmm. um, um, java virtual machine it uses to read the uh, bytecode and interpret based on the 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 topic system it is it is of it is uh, running on so java jvm plays a major role converting your bytecode into the system information for example linux and windows so jvm there are two different jvm which has which is implemented for one for linux and one for windows the jvm knows how to talk to the os so next question is what is java bytecode when you compile java code java class file you will uh, java file ta java file you will get the java bytecode uh, which will be in turn used by the jvm when it is loaded in the class using the class loader what is the difference between abstract class and interface this abstract class contains methods which has implementation but the interface if you see it will have only the signature the co the concrete classes which implements the interface should give the should give the uh, implement implementation should give the implementation in abstract class the parent class takes uh, uh, has a lot of uh, uh, methods which has a lot of uh, um, implementation it gives implementation and it, it has few methods which it is expecting the subclass to implement it what is the use of garbage collection i told you that uh, in, in the first question uh, java maintains its memory it is automatic the memory management management is automatic so uh, the garbage collection collector takes care of collecting the unreachable object in the jvm during the application when the application is running what is the benefit of finalized method so whenever jvm um, jvm is going to destroy the uh, reclaim the ob uh, the memory for unreachable objects the finalized method will be called in order to release the main resources that is it's the that the object is holding the next question ninth question is what are the different types of collections uh, collections you need in application to iterate uh, between objects you if you want to store the objects if you want to um, add or remove so for that for those purpose collections are used uh, of course java provides uh, collections like array array list vector and hash set hash table hash map i'll be talking about in future videos uh, what are the 
corrections supported in supported in Java. What is the difference between comparator and comparable? These two uh, these two interfaces are used uh, for comparing two objects. It's up to you. You can compare based on um, based on your uh, domain model, your business needs. Okay. The next question is why strings are immutable? What is the advantage? Strings are immutable whenever you create hello hello the two hello two strings will not be created only one string will be created both but as uh, two references will be made so if you change hello world the uh, there won't be any change modified to the the original string i'll be talking about in detail in the future videos strings are immutable what is the advantage uh, the advantage is better performance in the memory usage um, you don't have to waste the memory uh, jv memory uh, we don't want to waste the jvm memory we want to utilize in a proper way, appropriate way. I'll be talking about uh, why strings are immutable in future videos. Is Java passed by value or passed by reference? It is passed by value. You should know this. And uh, any tricky questions, or uh, the interviewer will be asking you. Uh, you should be thorough. You should be knowing that Java is passed by value. It only passes a value. Always. Uh, okay. The next question is. Explain static keyword difference between instance variables, methods, and static variables and static methods. Static variables are class or class variables. Instance variables are object variables. That, that's what. Whenever you talk about static, it is at the class level. Whenever you talk about the instance variables, it is about the object level. So I'll be talking about static and instance variables and methods in detail in future videos. Explain exception. Okay. Um, exceptions is a powerful feature in Java. If there is anything. Uh, unexpected behavior happen in the application it is caught and if it is possible to recover you can recover from that uh, problem happen for example file not found uh, you can't ensure that always in the system you can have the uh, file uh, the configuration files or XML files so uh, Java supports exception in that case uh, so it is a powerful feature to recover from that fault is it, if it is possible to recover it will recover as L otherwise um, it will be it's up to the uh, application developer. What is the use of finally block in Java? Explain. Finally block is an optional block which is used to release the used resources within that uh, class within the try try. So even if it will, it will be run uh, irrespective of whether it is it it it's the exception is thrown or not. It will not be run only in the case of system dot exit. So I'll be talking about this in detail in future videos. What is serialization? Serialization is the process of converting your object state into a uh, stream of bytes so that you can store in a flat file and later in part of time you can read it. What is a transient, transient variable? Transient variable uh, is nothing but a variable you mark as transient will not be serialized at all by the JVM. Um, the three pillars, polymorphism and compression inheritance in Java are supported by, in, uh, by interfaces and uh, abstract classes and method of overloading and overriding okay what's the difference between string buffer and string builder uh, one difference i can tell you now um, string builder is not uh, it does not have uh, whenever you want to append a lot of strings you can use both uh, string buffer and string builder what is explain class loading in java very very important how the classes are loaded whenever you say new the jvm ta cl the class loader which is inside the jvm will look into the appropriate package and it will check for the um, check for the classes check for the classes and it will load appropriately for more java interview questions if you want to learn log on to interview.com the india's top interview guide thank you for visiting this thank you for seeing this video thanks a lot